Hello Virgo, it is time for your December reading for this current year. Ooh, look at that. Not you, just me. Anyway, we're going to be doing your reading. I'm going to be doing a New Year's reading in the next couple weeks instead of the regular like mid to beginning of the month, right? Just so you guys can see what's coming up in the, in the, in the next 12 months possibly, whatever your scenario is. Great, great. Okay. No whammies, Virgo. Let's begin with yours. Yay. Ooh, someone rest some shit and that rope snapped. Now the wheel of fortune is turning, but someone's definitely hesitating in fear. I wonder what that means. Can't wait to see where it goes. Someone needs to come to a decision with the two of swords. Someone's definitely pulling like either a Gemini or a Libra where they're having a hard time making a decision. Um, this person took some risks, like risky risks, and now they have to go away. They have to, um, Go for calmer waters, I feel like. Like, the risks were too great. Like, the rope snapped on him, possibly. It wasn't worth it. And here's a King of Cups in reverse. He's being very into himself. He's not really caring in the past about how selfish and emotionally unavailable he is, I feel like. I feel like he's too interested in his own cup to worry about others in this position. And he's way too focused on um, his own emotional and financial needs. Oh, I hear my water boiling. And then, with this Wheel of Fortune, right? Ooh, I'll take that one. Where fate is going in because someone is tired of being left out in the cold. Someone wants to come back in where it's warm. That is the Wheel of Fortune turning. But, in this home where like everything's kind of dysfunctional and someone's like supporting all of it, some work needs to be done on it because that's what's going against them with the Eight of Pentacles. Right, right. And then the fear where someone is hesitating. Oh, one flipped on me. Someone needs to learn a lesson. They're afraid of the lesson that needs to be learned, Virgo, with the Hierophant or there could even be excommunication becoming involved. Hi, kitten. What are you doing? No, there's many ziggers. Miss Waits, because mom's almost done. And she will eat her shows and cheese. And we shall be merry for Lord J.J. R. Tolkien. So that's it. I don't even think he's, I said his name right. Okay. And down here, the catalyst and the final result. Someone's keeping their guard up. And they're tired because they're not happy. Like, I feel like someone's really sick of this shit. Kitten, I'm doing cards and I'm in a chair that doesn't allow you to sit in my lap properly. I know you want my attention, but... Oh! The any theme is the chariot. Someone's out of balance and they can't come to a decision. Like, look at that. Just parallels. Everything's just crossed each other. Ooh, interesting. But yeah, someone needs to balance themselves out. Because they need to come, because they can't come to some sort of decision because they're not imbalanced. And there's a lot of unfairness going on in this scenario. With the risk taking and having to move on and because someone's not emotionally available enough to care and they are only invested in themselves. And to a point possibly where someone is not communicating with another person. They might be running the other way from this injustice that's going on. Could be with a Libra at that. Or a really cranky Libra who's just not balancing themselves out the way that they're supposed to be, you know? And now there is a lack of faith and hesitation in all of this. Right? Right. So, Virgo, that is your reading. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye. Wow, this was relatively short. <laughs>